How can I help? Yes, have you been meaning to speak to me of late? Yes, that brought me a lot of peace. What? More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. Toward what? Before my um, training, I would have thought it would have been easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Well, I'm glad I could help you along the way. I figured you would come around eventually. Well, now that we're done with this, we can finally move on to the next planet. So before we move on to our next planet that we need to go to, if I can find it. It seems to be gone. There. This would be the next planet we have to go to. And I do not feel like we're pretty much ready for that. But we're going to run into a bunch of Sith from what I'm aware of. Who knows what kind of culty shit they have going on over there. I don't want to deal with that right now. I'm probably not even well equipped for it. So, for all it's worth, I believe it's time to go back to Yavin and pick up some supplies. Yes, because a big giant gun is one thing, but we might need more than that. So, I believe that's time for us where we're going to be going. So, let's get going. What? A story? Oh, you mean the girl, of course. Um, um, what, what do you mean she's gone? She ran off? Huh, figured. You figured it was about time she left? <sighs> well, that's a shame. I really liked her company, kind of. I mean, she didn't get to enjoy the holiday special, but that was for good reasons. She could have got shot back there. Anyway, I guess we're done with that. <sighs> we should go after her, so, um, maybe we should do that. Mm. Started discovering on a little ship. When they were f it was pretty easy to find her on the ship. We should probably find her somewhere in this city. But I wouldn't worry about her. Why not? She's just a girl stranded on a new planet she's never been to before. Why sh are you okay with this, Mr. Wookie thingy? Anyway, as I was saying, there's no reason to just let a child go out there by themselves and possibly die or get enslaved and just something horrible things happen to her and she grows up to be a horrible person. That is not something that we want here right now, okay? So you've done a terrible deed by just letting her leave. How dare you? I mean, we even have the mascots over there. You could have just said, hey, if you stick around, you can play with the mascots. They're all over the ship. <sighs> Poor thing. She's gone. Oh well, gotta can't let things get lingered on the past. It's the life Soul Care Special. The Disney Corporation is here. Oh, what's that on your face? Oh no, the Disney Corporation has already gotten to you. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in a city bombardment. Well, I don't think you know what you're talking about, but let's just forget that you were really saying that. Anyway, so, Mr. Karth with a name tag on your side? I don't think that was right. If you really think we could take on the Disney Corporation, I think you're out of your mind. That is not like the Jedi. Yeah, it really is. Anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I don't think oh, of course you are. You're a pilot! You're just gonna throw yourself at the bad guys and didn't get yourself killed so that we can't escape. Nobody That's what you're thinking, is it? Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. Well, I'll admit it won't be easy. Saul's no fool. Neither is a Disney Corporation. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Karth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. No, I'm sure he knows who everybody's on board since they own their property. stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue Nobody us. has a chance! It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. <sighs> you guys have no idea what's going on, do you? Anyway, so, this is a really terrible idea, by the way, I should mention that to all of you. It's because kind of dealing with the Disney Corporation is like suicide for these people. Everyone is is ruled over by the Disney Corporation here, and they just don't really understand that they have no chance of dealing with them. So we gotta figure out a way how to, I don't know, um, I don't really know how to say this, but try to stop them from doing stupid things. So that's what we're gonna do, because if I don't do something like that, they're gonna get themselves killed, and we can't have that. So, how do we figure out how to stop them from time from Disney Corporation? Or getting erased? That's the last thing we want. Anyway, so let's see. Aaron Carlos will be watching the three of us. Well, maybe. Carl knows the best. He's, no, he doesn't know anything. Anything else? Oh yeah, don't worry. 
if anything goes wrong, all I can say is BOO! And it'll work, because it's worth it in the past. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely. Why me? Involving you, me, or Kaz to succeed. It's going to be uh, one of the others to I get can't us out skip. of this. Well, if, if we're, we're gonna pick someone, oh, it's because of that name tag. That's why. Well, now it makes sense. Have to sit, keeps marching up our loading line. Line. Thanks, PC version. You really broke the dialogue sequence. I can't skip anything. Thanks. Now, but, uh, what? Let's see. Who can do the best job? I mean, I've pretty much been banded from from actually saving everybody for some reason I don't understand. So let's see. Who can help us the best? Can Mission do it? Let's find Maybe out. I can go to the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough, they, they might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With, with them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. It's a risk we have to take, BC. I can slice my way for any Uh, where were we just in the cockpit? Don't worry. I can pull this off. Oh yeah, let's just send in the jail bay to just get horribly beaten and bruised and killed. So yeah, no, we'll think of something else. Uh, there's the time. Yeah. The decision is yours. You're in charge. But I know I can do this if you give me a chance. Yeah, but this is kind of corporation struck again. We can't handle. It. You can't. We'll just see what else they're about to say. Okay. So, what can Jolie do? I don't think I can use my force powers to convince a whole squadron of troops to let me go free. Then what good are you? They'll probably only leave a single guard to watch over me. No, they wouldn't. They would know you're a Jedi. I mean, this is Disney Corporation. Everyone has to be a Jedi, right? So, yeah, no, I don't believe you. I learned a few things to my time, kid. Don't underestimate the folks for one. But it's your call. You want to try a different plan? Go ahead. Yeah, I could do it myself, but I I was been, I was banned from doing it. Let's see. How about this guy? Can the drunk you help us? Shot to delay my healing marks from kicking in. A small incendiary grenade will leave burn marks that look like <laughs> really? while making repairs to the ship. Then oh yeah. So you want me to shoot you and then blow you up and somehow that's gonna work? I'll come back and save the rest of you. Yeah. That's not gonna work. You're really that was a really drunk idea of you. Getting blown up, me shooting you so you can't heal, and then dying in the cargo bay. Yeah, that's not gonna work. You just imagine how stupid that is. I mean, it could work theoretically if you were, I don't know, not drunk and maybe sober and you could think a little more clearly on your head, but you clearly can, so let's see what someone else has to say. I'm the best chance we've got, and everyone knows it. Yeah, no, you're drunk. No, let's say you're drunk and stupid, of course not. Unless you've come up with another plan. Yeah, I can. Let's see. How about a TC? Three droid. That could do something. I mean, he's done nothing this entire campaign and adventure. So, let's see what he could say. Well, the droid's right. Disable him, the Sith will probably wipe his memory chips and take him to the jump pile. But if we can break a backup memory chip with a timer, when it kicks in, the little fellow will be reactivated and he can come find us. Yeah, he could. I'm afraid the Sith will melt him. Ha 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 ha. Very funny. But that could be interesting. But well, before we choose that, let's see what someone else can do. Unless you can come up with a better plan to get us out of this. I already did. Boo! Scary, buddy. Anyway, I think we have one more person to talk with, too. This guy. Statement. Michael Johnson includes a reserve memory chip and backup power. What do you have for us, Harry? Permit 47. Shut down to all. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap, and I can come rescue the rest of you after I deactivate. I got a better idea. How about both droids go together? Yeah, they'll take you both together so that you can so that you're not by yourselves. But of course, the game won't let me say that. Now will it? So, I'm sorry. After all, but that, then again, that is probably the best option for us. I mean, you have that rifle, and you could probably do a lot of damage. So, yeah. I think we're gonna stick with... We'll figure this out later. Hold on, they're dragging us into the docking bridge. Yeah. Oh, 
I mean, do you guys have any idea how effective it would be? Oh, it's been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. The two tours would be more effective, but I recognize just saying, I see your face. One could die, the other would survive. Just in case. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? Ah. The Disney Corporation is hiring some ugly people, aren't they? This was an act of war. That was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation. And the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. This is not accepting until I prove that I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. I might die in that attack zone. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your last revenge if you must, but spare me your time, as I've heard them all before. So wait, what's happening? I don't recall what you were talking about. I wasn't really listening at all. Um, you were saying something about the... Um, you were taunting Karth, weren't you? Um, I think you're wasting your time, though. I don't think it's gonna help. I'm certain Malak will find your loyalty to the Jedi amusing. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just kill you once and for all, but he may want to question... You know, this isn't that dark. I mean, they're business, at first and foremost. I mean, you gotta understand that, right? They're not all about killing and murdering and horrible things like that. Unlike the Sith, they just want profit and money. And that's why they're erasing this thing. I understand what's happening. You can't seem to fathom the the predicament we're in right now, can you? Because I totally can, because I understand everything. So, let's see. Which one helps me the most? He won't get any answers from me because he doesn't know anything about what's happening at all right now. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. If or I will say BOO and him. he'll get scared and it won't the work at all. Can be very Cause that's worked in best. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill What's he doing over there? Then. I've always wondered that. Activate the torture fields. Oh, now I understand. Okay. Enough. You told me exactly what I Arthur needed to know. I never knew what he was doing I until now. Appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. What should I say? I mean, I don't care about this Sith right now. I'm more concerned about the, the Disney Corporation. So let's see. My loyalties are as true as Bastila. Yeah, we'll say that, because it's totally true. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation. Oh, uh, um, uh, you didn't find my dog, didn't you? I mean, uh, I mean, space dog, did you? Bastila will suffer. I mean, I miss that old dog. I wonder where I went. Probably dead now. Anyway, um, I'm sh go ahead. I mean, do what you like. Expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone, and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want. To I mean, the last time I tried to get some Academy in things play. happening, uh, there was like, a fight on Kashyyyk. So yeah, I don't think this is really working anymore. So. Where are they? Oh, they're on Dantooine. No, don't say any more. An excellent beginning. I'm glad you're being reasonable. This first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the Academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there. Oh. The smoking ruin and the child well, remains. Well, I mean, there were the warning signs. I mean, I told them about the freaking graphical glitches. I told them that Disney was on the way, and nobody listened to me. And look what happened. You see, I wasn't wrong, and now everyone is dead. Brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. I tried your to tell them, and I'm sure you understood that. Help of someone rescuing you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Armada? We were searching for the Sarge Forge. Why? Why are you telling him this? You should be great. Because it's irrelevant to the Disney Corporation. you agony beyond comprehension. Words that betray the Jedi Order bring me more pain than any torture ever. Oh, it's not a betrayal. Tell me, how did you find out about the Star Forge? Um, things like dreams and diaries and some fun stuff like that. No! How could you betray the Jedi like this? 
I find your willingness to cooperate because I read your diary. I know what's happened. Not to worry. We are almost finished here. The information you have given me has been most useful, but I fear our session is over. Lord Malik will want to continue with this line of questioning himself. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of. But the is he doing the exact same thing over there in another sector in the ship? This is pointless. Is there no end to the killing? Oh, I'm sure there will be an end to the killing, but um, it'll happen after everything is erased. I mean, yeah, that's usually how things work. Anyway, so, um, I think we're in a bad situation no matter what happens. So, it's their own fault. They should have seen the attack. They didn't listen. And so, now they're all dead. So, yeah, such a shame. We should have felt a disturbance in the force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I don't think so. Maybe it's just because the Disney Corporation is that much more powerful. And it's more of a concern to us. Who are these people you're talking about? In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter. Um, we do have Yavin, and that's kind of where we're going, so... Um, not true. And we do have the Wookiee... A village, and I mean, we did some good things for them, so we do have plenty of sanctuaries, okay? So there's plenty of places that we can go. So, anyway, I mean, yeah, and this I even get over the fact that there are billions of planets in the galaxy that we could go to that have nothing to do with um, Malik and the uh, war, so yeah, you're completely wrong on that. We could go anywhere we want. You just don't understand the galaxy very much, do you? Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. I only wish you'd been able to resist the Admiral's questioning. I hope the information you revealed resist. was not bring the entire galaxy under the dominion of the Sith. He knew exactly what was happening. So, yeah, you're the Dallas here. I've known Admiral Kareth a long time, and I think you're right. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. I think it was just an excuse to torture us before Malik arrived. Did you feel that? Nope. A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malik is coming. <laughs> Wait, well, he just figured out that we're here? here what we is he doing over there? And now... The story of Harvey Corman 47 has begun. At last! Well, that's the end of this episode. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed that very much. And now that we're done with this episode, we'll move on to the escape of this horrible Disney ship. Thank you very much, and stay tuned for the next episode.